You know, we've always assumed in Florida that Cuban Americans who live in Florida will vote Republican, certainly in the large majority. Is that still true? Maybe not. Uh, and this is an enormous uh, political um, demographic change uh, just in the last couple of decades. Um, in the 1980s, uh, Cubans in Florida, Cuban Americans in Florida, uh, voted about 85% Republican, 15% Democrat. Um, we think in this past election, uh, probably more than 40% of Cubans voted Democrat, maybe even 50%. Uh, that would be an enormous shift in just uh, a couple of decades. Um, the reasons are, are um, obvious. Uh, primarily, uh, it's new generations of Cuban Americans who don't have the same sort of political, um, the, the same sort of political background uh, that their parents and grandparents, and in some cases, great grandparents have. The Cuban vote has always been primarily Republican in Florida because of the Cold War because of Castro. Um, these are people who were forced uh, off of their homeland uh, and, and lost their property in many cases. Um, and really, just everything is based on hatred of the Castro regime. Um, the Republican Party was always seen as more hawkish in the Cold War uh, toward the Castro regime, and so it was a natural home for those people. We're now on our third, and in some cases, fourth generation of Cuban Americans. Um, if you're an 18-year-old Cuban American voter, you just voted for the first time, you were born a long time after the Cold War ended. Ronald Reagan, and for that matter, Fidel Castro, are, are you know people from the history books. Um, if you were born in the mid-1990s, after the Berlin Wall had even come down, you know, uh, you're just not driven by this, this hatred of Castro. He might some, not even speak Spanish. That's right. He's somebody that your grandparents had a problem with. And, and so things are changing. And the Democratic Party probably has to be credited as well with outreach to Cuban Americans. Uh, we're going to have a Cuban American uh, Democrat in the legislature. Uh, you know, I remember Annie Betancourt used to be the only Cuban American Democrat in the legislature. In my entire time here, uh, we're going we're gonna to start to see more and more of those. And, and I think we're going to start to see Cuban Americans voting more and more Democrat if the Republicans don't figure out a way to get back into the Hispanic community.